Thank you, Father. I'm trying to come out of that atmosphere. I want to teach. Let's conclude. Well, let me just try and follow God's heart. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. I'll conclude this strange generation next week. Let me just speak to you. Today's a little bit brief. You see, I'm a man of God. <laughs> I'm a man of God. I prepare for all my services, you see. But for me, the most important area is preparation of the arts. I always open my heart to God. I'm not saying that. No, the moment I prepare the God, I must preach. It's a lie. God knows what the people need. He knows what? You know, you are not my people, you are God's people. That's why I'm careful in the way I relate with you. I cannot be able to, I cannot disrespect you, I cannot teach you anymore. I have to love you. But I'll give account. So I can't stop God because, because I've prepared us and this. I said you have to eat it. When God said it's, it's golden money and yeah, maybe chicken that you want to give them. I'm feeling a change in I'm I'm trying to understand it very well. I'm feeling a change in the course of today's service. In terms of the teaching, I'm trying to align. People don't know anything that the man of God is going through as he's standing and talking to you, you don't understand this thing. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Because I must be accurate with him. It's the church goes that we gather, we preach. If we just preach, other people are not changing in churches. Because the man of God has to tell us and just teach them. Some are not even teaching accurate, they are not teaching the word of God. They say, let me just preach. They come to church, we preach. So people's lives are not changing. You see, what people's life is the word of God. What God is saying to them. You understand? So in all our series there, eh, I've never told you because I think that let me no, if God spoke to me, let's go on this series. <laughs> you understand me? So you know just when the church is done, I say, no, like I want to hear the word of the Lord Lord is saying to us. I feel the anointing this morning. Amen. Amen. I'm trying to align myself. So I go and say, did I tell you to serve them <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, I've gotten it. I've gotten it now. I'm going to speak to you briefly. You are a child of God. That's it. Are you understanding me now? Yes, sir. I said you are what? Oh man, they call a vina so called Can you say I am a child of God? I can't say I am a child of God. Child of God. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8. Is it verse 14? Romans chapter 8 verse 14. See, I have no topic. I'm not telling you that you are a child of God. The, before that, we have talked about anything as God's children. Okay, so let's, let's, let's pick it up from here. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Are you understanding me? As many as are led, led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. I'm not going to really talk about this so much now, or I might not really. But I want to tell you more that you're a child of God. If I go here, this is not talking about the fact that we are a child of God. He said something more. <laughs> it's an eye level of conversation. Are you understanding me? So I'm not really move deep into this today. I'm just brush it. Mount tell you are a child of God. Give me verse 15. For ye have not received. Oh my God. Okay, let me speak from verse 14 again. For as many, can, can I say I'm a child of God? You see, this is the knowledge you need to break out of every satanic affliction. You don't need any other knowledge. This knowledge is enough to break out of any bondage and limitation. This knowledge is enough to break out of poverty. It's enough to break out of sickness, out of diseases. It's enough to break out of guilt and shame. Are you understanding me now? So let me speak on the surface about this verse. Okay? For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. 
Are you understanding me? So when you have the Spirit of God on your inside, I said I'm speaking on the surface on verse 14. You are a child of God. You are God's son. Eh? When you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you, when you walk in His ways, you are a son of God. You are a child of God. Are you understanding me? Actually, you might want to come why don't you talk with me on verse 14 is because are you hearing me? This place, this verse 14 talks so much of your maturity are you understanding me? Of you coming into uh, are you coming into a stature in God? Are you coming into is this a lot about your maturity? Are you speaking? Is it, are you coming into a stature in God, a maturity as a result of the alignment. Are you understanding me? He talks of you receiving a kind of uh, heavenly position. He talks more of maturity than he speaks of your identity. Are you understanding me? He talks more of what? Of your maturity that speaks of your identity. So that's why I don't want to talk with you. Because what I'm talking about is your identity. Because we need to start, if we start with identity before we talk of maturity. If you don't born a child, the child cannot grow. Are you understanding? We talk of a man because we have a baby. So if you are so concerned about the man and you want to deal with baby completely, you will never have man. Because a man always starts with what? A baby. A woman always starts with what? A baby. Are you understanding me? So, we must appreciate the baby. Are you hearing me? Otherwise, we will not have the man. So, I don't speak. I want, I want to understand your identity. Because that identity is not. If you know it, eh, you will become a man. <laughs> if you know your identity so much in Christ and you pay attention to it, you will mature. So, these sons there, the last son is wheels, actually. You know, I didn't plan to teach this. It's alignment with God. And you have to keep studying the Bible. There are a story that you can call you at any time to go to work. <laughs> are you hearing me? If it's wheels, are you understanding me? It speaks more of mature sons. So maturity happens as you are led by the Spirit of God. You see, every believer has the Spirit of God. <laughs> are you hearing me now? Every believer does what? I can't hear you. Every believer has the Spirit of God. But not every believer is led by the Spirit of God. Are you hearing me? To be led by the Spirit of God is to obey the Spirit. It's to obey what He tells you to do. It's to live in obedience to the will of God. It's to follow Him wherever He leads you. Some of us don't follow Him wherever He leads you. We have our own opinions. To be led by the Spirit <laughs> is to be submitted to the Lordship of Christ. That is whatever He wants for my life. It is this submission that grows us into wheels, into maturity, into souls. Oh, this is real authority. But let's forget about this. We'll quickly move to verse 15. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. Oh my God. But you have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Oh, so the believer has a spirit in him. Are you understanding me? The believer does what? He has the spirit in him. The name is the Holy Spirit. Are you understanding me? What name of this spirit is the spirit that made God God. Are you hearing me, brothers and sisters? You see, by relation to this speaking, Paul calls him the spirit of adoption. Oh my God. The spirit of what? The spirit that shows that God has now made you his son. The Spirit has shown that God has not made you his child. Are you hearing me now? So the believer has received the Holy Spirit. Are you hearing me now? That shows, that signifies, put his proof that I am now a child of God. He <laughs> said, We are not in the spirit of bondage and going to fear. So the believer is not in bondage. The believer is free from bondage. The moment you got saved, a spirit came upon you, a spirit came into you in the spirit of adoption. And what this spirit did was to replace the spirit of bondage, which allows you to fear. Bondage to your past, bondage to your failures, 
Money for your limitations. Money for the things you have been through. Money for the things you have been through. Bondage! Bondage to fear for the future. Bondage! That, that, are you understanding me? That produces fear. He said, when you God said you did not receive that kind of spirit. Are you understanding me? So you receive the spirit of adoption. You see what? What do you receive? The Holy Spirit, the spirit of adoption. We show this is evident, which is the evidence, which is the proof that I am not a child of the Holy Spirit. so beautiful. We have received the spirit of adoption. Where do we cry, Lord? Oh my God. Where do we cry? Abba, Father. Abba, Pate. Abba, Pate. You see, Abba is actually, actually Father. Are you understanding me? If the Abba my cross for Father, are you understanding me? The more this Abba, the, 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 the meaning of that Father, which is Abba, are you understanding me? Is the Abba my of Abba, or Father rather, are you hearing me? It shows more a reverential form that you revive this person. Huh? That you revive this person. The baby might not even be a biological father. <laughs> are you hearing me now? Are you understanding me? This Abba, if you check it, is Aramite for father. Are you understanding me now? But that father is not necessarily a biological father. It's, not, it's, it's more of reverence. So, this Abba is the way the Aramite, the people, place reverence on God. Are you understanding me? If you went there, you can, because you will ask, why did they say Abba Father? Why did they say Father? Because one of them is Father. Why did they say Father Father? There is something Paul is trying to say. And the people understand what they are saying. The people are to. And I'm trying to explain to you. So Abba is the reverence they put on God. You know, Father is the highest. The Father is the highest, right? In a community, a Father is the highest. They say this is the head of the family. This is the head of this community. This is the head of this. That father. So it's that reverence that they transfer to God. Are you understanding me? So God is uh, Paul is saying that you see this God eh, that is Abba, which we have put reverence on, he said it's not only Abba, it's not only that reverential that uh reverential father, it's not that we reverb. Are you understanding me? Are we still together? That is not only a father that we reserve. Uh, it's not that reverential father that I, I, I can't figure it, 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 it's not traditional. There's a word. Are you understanding? Like the traditional form of that father. You understand? It, the word of this is not traditional. But the word cannot, the word is not coming right now. I made my mind, but it's not sure coming. Amen. Amen. Praise God. There is not that father. God is not just that father. That Abba. Can you see? This Abba is also Pater. Now this Abba is also what? Pater. Now that Pater is the Greek for Father. Now that Pater, the Father is means is that he is the originator of the person. He is the one that really gives best to the person. Are you understanding me now? That he is the source. Now Abba does not mean source. In that sense. Abba puts more reverence. Are you understanding me? Pate, which is the father, shows source, shows ownership, shows where the thing comes from. Is the originator. Oh my God, are you hearing me now? So it says that that God that is revered, it says that God of the universe that is revered, that we have put Abba on, that the way we can call him is Abba, he says, he's not just Abba, he's Pate, he's your father. He produced you, he's your source who came from him. Are you hearing me now? That that Abba, because the way the, the Adam has to work with him, that's the idea they call him, that Abba. Are you understanding me? So that this father, that this God we are put reverence on, that is this God that is to be revered, he said to you, it's not just Abba, it's Pater. It's your source. You came from me. You came from him. He produced you. It's the fountain from which you flow. 
Are you understanding me? That he really gave death to you. Are you here, my sisters? You see, when you say you are born again, you say I'm a child of God, is not, is it allegory? It's not a, it's not a metaphoric statement. That, that you are not supposed to be able to do It's really you. It is pertains, it pertains the Father. It is not metaphoric. You know metaphor? Why it means trouble is to describe your people understand? No, no, no. It is not for understanding's sake. And the child of God is not going to describe how you have to go. No, it's not for understanding's sake. It's not metaphoric. It's the reality of what happened to you. <laughs> because the day you go safe, you receive the gift of adoption. And you will confirm that, oh my God, are you understanding me now? Are you hearing me? Oh, where is, where is, where is little Ezra? You see, if Ezra sees me, or she, let's, let's, if Ezra sees me and she sees her dad, are you understanding me? She can't call me father. She won't call me father. Are you understanding me? Who she call? Who she call father? Who she call daddy? Daddy? Who she call daddy? Her dad. She just knows. She has been in that family. She just not believe my father. You see, my children don't see me as pastor. They don't see me as pastor. They bore and so they treat me as daddy. They really daddy. They disturb my life. <laughs> they don't care that I'm the man of God. <laughs> the man of God moves time in this. They stress my life. I'm their daddy. The man of God are a lesson teacher. Then I say, my daddy. My daddy. I'll tell my daddy for you. My daddy. Are you understanding me? Yes. Now she's authorized to call me father. Now she's calling me father not as a metaphor. What are going to describe to explain? What are going to understand? She's saying the real thing. She's calling me daddy because she came forth from me. Yeah. Oh my God. Are you understanding me? Yes, sir. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? Yes, sir. Are you understanding me? Yes, so when you say you are a child of God, it's like the boy is saying this and the child of Lion Daniel. It's not a metaphoric statement. That God is your real father. God produced you. You came out from God. Can you say I came out from God? So, and the child of God means I came out from God. Oh, what does it mean? It means that God's gene is inside you. It means that God's life is inside you. It means that all that God is is inside you. Well, that's why we are not in the say we are not in the of bonding. Where then does God want to come from? Where does fear want to come from? Even if you say I want to raise you, you say, when I know that was, I'm a child of God, I say, I'm a child of God. You say, I have to go back. Oh, how about that? Where by, see it? Where by we cry? Are you hearing me? Where by what? I can't hear you. Where by we cry? Hey, you are serious matter. You see, if the boy is saying that day, you see, the boy can come in daddy like hundred times. You see, if she's saying that daddy, will I say, why are you calling me daddy? Why are you disturbing me? Will I say she stop calling me? You see, a calling me daddy is proof of ownership. <laughs> are you understanding me? What is that word when you, aha, it is the thing of entitlement. Eh? So the cry, remember we cry. That cry says that you are entitled to God. That you must have a sense of entitlement to God. You must have a sense of entitlement to God. You must cry, Abba, Father. You must father partake like you have the right to disturb God. <laughs> are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. You have a right to disturb God. You have a right to stress God. You have authorization. Are you understanding me? To lay hold on God. Oh, are you with me now? Some of you feel timid in His presence. You feel timid. You know you have received the spirit of adoption. And the point of that spirit is to make you cry. Is to give you authorization. The Father I'm here. It's boldness. It's boldness. It's authorization. It's entitlement. And I talk to you, can I really launch it? You are not entitled to anything or anything in this world. The only entitled to one person is God. He has made it so. 
Are you understanding? You see, I can I can tell someone that why you are even entitled to my time. Why is he entitled to me? Why is he entitled to my resources? I can't say that to my children. Are you hearing me? I can't say that to my what? And why, why do you feel entitled to my time? No, it's even when they marry and they grow up and they leave my house, I cannot feel why do you feel entitled to my time? Are you hearing me? No matter how they grow old and until I life, I can I can never imagine it that they are feeling entitled to me. So it's not about age. It's not about that. Are you understanding me? It's about who they are. Who they are. I can never imagine that you are feeling so terrible because why are you feeling so entitled to me? Am I not just your father? You see, I've already condemned myself. <laughs> like, why are you feeling entitled? Why are you entitled to my time? Why are you entitled to my self? Am I, I, am I not just your father? Oh, don't be there. So you don't know what father means. Are you understanding me? You see, this cry here yeah, is the sense of entitlement we must have to God. Are you still hearing me now? Are you sure? Because you must feel entitled to God. You must lay hold on God. It's the authorization you have to lay hold on God. You have an entitlement. You see, I permit you to have one entitlement mindset. It's the entitlement to God. You own Him. Are you understanding me? Are you hearing me now? This is, this is you believe in but for the reason you don't follow the game, where to fear? For the reason you don't adoption, where God will cry, I'm a father. Are you understanding me? So you have the boldness to cry out to God. And whenever you cry, bondage breaks. Fear dissipates. So crying to lay on God is the boldness to lay on God. It's the entitlement to lay on God. Because he's patrolled. If he can't talk to you, why did you bring it to this world? Imagine if you start complaining about my children, oh, the pain is pretty, and this should be said, and that is why I'm not, oh, 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 I said God planned for you. Yes, he planned for you. He's not a reckless father. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. He didn't give him a belly and run away. He's not that kind of father. You know that's what you know. You understand? There are some men that give him a belly and run away. You see? But even if you are here and they give him a belly and run away, you are a child of God now. Yeah. And you will become what they are written about you. Yes. Are you understanding me? Those are men are not men. They are not fathers. They are men. Men and fathers are not the same thing. Yeah. So any man that gives him and Bele around the way is not a father. He's just a man. You are not calling me boy. That man is in the sense of sex. Like what's your gender? It's in the sense of gender. He's not like a real man. He's not a man. He's not man enough. If you do get Bele, he's a man enough. You will stand there. Some of you are even like not man enough. Oh. Yeah, you people have sense. I think you are not going to advise. You people are not. You are your sense. The girls here have sense. They don't have to marry a child of God. So we see yourself. So, you are not doing trial. You are not doing testing. <coughs> you can't be doing testing now. You are in a relationship and you get married and you start uh, start you start committing sin. <laughs> After you start committing sin, you now bring for children. And you know that the man is, is man. He's a man. Because when he married you, you know you are going to commit sin together. And after you commit sin, he produces. So he knows he is. So that's the man. Are you understanding me? So God is not giving man belay around. God planned for your coming to this world. God gave birth to you. He planned for you. You see? And it is this covenant that should give you the boldness to cry. The God has to do what? Cry. To cry. You must lay, oh my God, you must lay hold on God. You know what this means? It means that all that God owns belongs to you. His glory, his power, his wealth, his riches belong to who? 
I can't hear you. Belong to you. You see? The reason why I don't allow my children to answer some of my things is because they are still young. They will spoil it. I don't know. That's the only reason. You see, when they are older and they have more sense and they can do stuff, they have the right to end me in my own. They have the right. If I give them my iPad now, give them iPad, maybe they don't drink inside water. <laughs> I'll see the next thing is inside water. After they play small, kill it. Or if it's getting fought from the hand and breaks. Or they are fighting over it. Something happens. You yeah, understand? So sometimes, the only reason why I take my things from them, I don't want them to spoil it. They, are, they don't have sense yet. And I can't give them with this story. It's not that they don't have sense. It's not like these children's poetry and I'm beating them. You don't have sense. Why do you put it where they can reach it? You see, if a little child spoils your team, eh, and you are beating them, you really don't have sense. Because that's beating what they do. You see, next time, eh, so that you know that the child doesn't understand what happened. Next time, they say, that's why you still spoiling your team again. That beating is not correct. It can't correct. The person is that child is still a child. You see, one day, what was he saying at our former place? So, Tara, he was still a, a very small child, a baby. He threw our housemaid from his water. Housemaid, he threw his water. <laughs> yeah, you hear me? I don't know he took one of my own friends. I don't at all of our guys and threw his water. Because the boy likes playing with water. <laughs> Praise God. All the things we bought for them in this house, even at this age, they will use it, play, spoil it. You see? So what do we do? We protect our things from them. The other thing is that we with money tell me. But my wife gives them a phone sometimes so they can watch something on it. She has to monitor them. You see, they can't go to the screen and she start beating them for what? You see, if you beat them eh, and we repair the screen or buy that phone, if you give them a little money, they will break it again. Because the beating does not correct anything. A child is a child. So parents there and others say, don't beat, don't beat children. Now, I, I'm not talking about being destructive, though. No, 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 no. I, I beat the child seriously when it's, it's tearing my chair. They fought on my chair. That one, is, that one is being destructive. So I'm teaching you, you can't be destructive. He might think it's plain. I don't think that that is not play. That's being destructive. You can't take blade. You can't take... And, so, and again, it's our own carelessness. How did it lay it on blood? How did it lay it on sharp objects? You understand? That's why again, when I think that I, I challenge you that the house doesn't matter. Why did you leave blood here? Why did you leave pencil? Why did you leave bile here? If you don't have anything, you must spoil it. Are you understanding me? So we must train our children not to be destructive. Are you hearing me? But we can sometimes they, because they are children, things get spoiled. Are you what I'm saying to you? Well, no, what I'm not saying exactly is that my children have a right to all that I own. Oh, let me explain to you. This, this thing that I just said, let me explain it to you. You and God as a father. You see, sometimes there are many things God wants to give you. You have access to all these things, you have the right. But there are some things you will not give at the particular phase of your life because you know you will spoil it. Whatever you spoil it, it will spoil you. You, you will not focus on him again. Are you understanding me now? Yes, so he wants to give you a lot of everything. But there is a face you are in your work with him as a child that he can't give you yet. You are paying God money, money, billions. Hey. The way you are, I've got to see you, hey, billion. If billion such you are, you are going to hell. If you just your hand now, you said fire, you said fire straight. Calm down, my daughter. Wait. Still be patient. Keep following me. I'll give you this money. Just relax. If some of you here, yeah, some of you here, yeah, if big money enters you today, like one billion, you'll stop seeing church for a while. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm telling you. No, no, I'm telling you. Let's, let's, let's add them. One billion is small. Well, let's add them. If one billion enters some of you, eh, you'll find a church that is better. A church that now fits your, your what? Your status. Ah, you say, ah, I'm not a big man. You you go to big, big churches. Because you have your car has to you have to have people who you can match with. I'm telling you the truth. Your life is not really that this is something that God has planned for you. Because you don't have you don't have sense on how to be planted. 
to one billion comes. You know, 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 you let me go and buy a house there. You go and buy a house. Some of you Sunday, that's when you, that's when you, know, you know that you are going on a boat cruise. I'm, t- I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. That's how some of you soul is presently. That's what is taking time. Let us know doesn't plan to give you all those questions. But your soul is still immature. <laughs> I don't know, that's the place of that, that's what it is. Sons of God, they believe in the spirit. That's the maturity. They are not giving authority. That's what is taking of authority. You cannot handle anything. I'm thinking of identity this morning. So you have ownership of all that God owns. You have the right to it. You have the right to joy. Can you, can you have the right to joy? You have the right to peace. You have the right to righteousness. You are not guilty, not guilty conscience, huh? I said not guilty conscience. Your past has nothing on you. Yeah. Your mistakes have nothing on you. Yeah. Your failures have nothing on you. Yeah. Your fears are not you. Yeah. Why? You are a child of God. You can cry, have a father. Yes. Brother, you must feel entitled to God. That's enough that whereby we cry. Whereby we cry. Why is the child crying? She sees her mom and she's crying. She feels entitled that her mom has to carry her. <laughs> you know what I said? She keeps crying until her mom carries her. Why is she crying? Why is the child crying until her mother gives her breast? She feels what? Entitled. You see, when a child is crying in that way, it's like you are mattress, it's like you are depriving me of my rights. That's what the child is saying. You are depriving me of my rights. So there's an entitlement that comes with sonship. With being a child. Brothers and sisters, you must feel entitled to God. Huh? You must feel what? And then no is allowed. That is the meaning of this scripture. You are still entitled to God. Or the reason I say cancel your case upon me. <laughs> Just stay on this. Stay here. Okay, show them. Show them. Yeah, they know. They know. They think they know that I'm lying. They say cast all your cares, everything, upon me. Everything, like everything. Cast everything. Cast all your cares. Ah, this is what are you doing for? Ah, ah, ah. Let me continue what I'm saying. Casting all your care upon him for he cares for you. Like all. Like all. Like you have to cast all of it. He said he cares for you. You have have to cast it. He cares for you. Now he cares for you as what? Talk to me. He cares for you as what? I can't hear you. As his child. He cares for you as your father. He cares for you because you are his child. He cares for you as his child. You see me and my father. If you can use the word I'm a good father, you see sometimes when it comes to man, I think first of my children. Like they can't endure hunger. So I'm looking, I'm thinking of what can we what can we do this one to six? Even if our dogs, even if we endure hunger, you children can't endure hunger. They I shouldn't make them know that there's anything called hunger. They must never ah, they must never know. If they ask for food, it has to be available. Even if it's discreet. They, they will not know hunger. <laughs> you see, we others, we are still working out of hunger. We still know hunger, I'm telling you, they are not like you. Sometimes there's no food. Are you understanding me? We are, it's a season, it will pass. I'm telling you, there will be abundance. But even in that season, where we are those, still know hunger. You see, the children don't know hunger. Yeah. We are ensuring they don't know it, they don't understand it. Yeah. If it's discreet, it has to be available for them. Are you understanding me? So I think quickly of them. Okay, let me quickly get this. And this, this one will be able to carry for maybe three or, or one, three days or one week. You see, they, my children are not concerned about what they eat. They are not thinking about it. They are not thinking about it. They are not thinking about what they eat. They are not, it's not their thought. It's my responsibility to care for them. Why are you, I, let me ask you, why are you doing a job that God will not give you? You know what I'm saying? The Bible says you are what? You are a child of God. And God is your father. Eh? I'm telling you about my children. You see, they only to sleep, play, wake up. Sleep, play, wake up, go to school. Sleep, play, wake up. They don't know how we are sustaining them. It's not their business. 
They are not con you see, you don't have no way. You don't have sense. <laughs> Sometimes the father is even thinking of how to they are still coming to stress and to disturb them. Hey, because they can cry about father. Because they can cry about father. Are you understanding me? Can't see how your cares are coming. He cares for you. He's your father. It's his duty to care for you. Oh, can I tell you the truth? God is not being kind to you by doing by caring for you. Are you understanding what I'm saying to you? God is not what? God is not being kind to you by caring for you. Let me let me explain it. I'm not being kind to my children by caring for them. What am I doing? I'm fulfilling my responsibility. Children of God, wake up, don't let stop making such a cheating in this world. I was all worrying you. God is not being kind to you by caring for you. He's fulfilling his role as your father. He's fulfilling his role as your father. You see, but some of you have taken God's will upon yourself. You have to care for yourself. You are all your worries of your life. You are put on your own head. So God says, hey, you can care for yourself. You are not going to be sent. That means what is that? What is that? What is in the hand of God? Because you are taking his duty from me. I'm taking his job from me. You see, we have to remain. We have to remain. We are his children. Is that not what he says? We are his children. We have to remain his children to enjoy his care, to enjoy his provision. Some of you are taking God's work, you are taking his role. You are bothered, you are always thinking, you are always bothered, you are always. You see, I'm not saying thoughts of life can come to you, but what do you do there? Cry, Abba, Father. That's the reason for that cry. That's the reason for the spirit. That's why you say, who about the cry? We must be born to know that we are born to go to him. When thoughts of, of your fears come, when thoughts of when fears come, when thoughts of I don't have a job yet, there's no money and all of that, what do you do? Cry. You cry about father, you go ahead and cry about father. You go ahead and cry about father. Go and make a noise in your father's ears. You see, whether there's food or not, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean, that's the thing, it's water. You see, I want to eat my food. Well, you want to eat my food? <laughs> I want to eat my, in, in his mind, he has a food in his house. <laughs> in his mind, he has a food in his house. That he must always be telling that he wants to eat it. I want to eat my food. I want to eat my food. Because his mind is just put on the, uh, uh, uh. He, 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 he doesn't understand that, that there's no food. That understand is not part of his life. In his mind, he has a food in this house that he must always eat whenever he wants to eat it. So he comes to you, Mommy, I want to eat my food. <laughs> I want to eat my food. So I said, you have a food with God that he must always provide for you whenever you need it. But you have not learned to cry. This is the problem. You have not learned to cry about Father. You have not learned to cry. You have not learned to cast your care upon him. To cry is to cast your care upon him. You have not learned to cry. You have not learned to cry. The only cry you have to cry is the cry of pain and dejection. Hey, 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 God, you are watching me like this. Hey, hey, it's not my mate. You are crying in the corner. Is that the cry I'm talking about? That kind of cry will not deliver you. It will put more burden upon you. Hey, hey, God, see, you can't. Yeah, now nah, we just, we finish the rest of the day. Now she has 53 children. She, now <laughs> nah, she's living in UK and Canada together. <laughs> She, she has one bedroom in Canada. She has another one. She can, she moves anytime she likes. We have three companies. They are crying. They are crying. The child of God crying. The child of God crying that there's no food. The only cry I can't come to cry is Abba Father. It's a lay on God. Oh my God. It's a what? It's a lay on God. Father, where is my food? I want to eat my food. <laughs> Be like my son. I want to eat my food. I want to eat my food. I want to eat my food. Satan has nothing on you. I said Satan has nothing on you. He's a liar. He has a, a liar. He has nothing on you. This is your good view. I don't think I'm going to close this teaching. That's what I'm going to learn. This is your good view. This is your good view. For identity. Oh, thank God for power for me. That was what he started this morning. Eh? Our identity in Christ. Yeah. This is your good view. Nobody wants it. Your identity in Christ. Your identity as a child of God. Satan wants you to lose all. Oh, he wants to lose this side of it. So I can destroy you. If you don't focus on your identity, you will, you will be held by a bit of bondage. 
fear will be your life. Oh, well, sometimes I want to get worried. Oh, but a revelation that I think my spirit comes alive again. I do not own my life. I do not own myself. We've got everything planned out. Oh, give me some good advice. Every day of my life is written in your book. Ah, uh, every day. Before a single day has passed. So it's 139. Every day of my life. <laughs> in NLT version. NLT. Hey, it is on that way. Oh, glory to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I'll be a color being a crucifier. Ah, continue. This is not this is what I'm looking for. Psalms 139. Glory to Jesus. Are we still together? Are you blessed already? Huh? Verse 16. Verse 16. NLT. You saw me before I was born. Oh my God. You saw me before what? I was born. I can't hear you. You saw me before I was born. Oh, this is serious now. You see, whenever recently some things will want to come up, I don't understand me to, to, to challenge my faith, to God damn me. Are you understanding me? You see, these are some of the revelations that God brings back to my heart. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. You don't understand? Every day of my life was a day is. This means as you are living it, they are recording it. What do you know of what? Before you leave this, that means you are living out what you are living. Hey, I am living in prophecy. Yes, Anytime I am living in prophecy. Anytime I am living in prophecy. Living in prophecy. Mm-hmm. Anytime my life is acting as a script of God. I'm acting as a script. Of God. Uh, I'm acting as a script. Oh, yeah. You see, so that, that moment of lack eh, is just a part of the script. I know how the script will end. It will end in victory. Mm. It's a script. It's a script. Now when all people were rejecting me, when they were opposing me, it was part of what? Part of the script. <laughs> now when I made mistakes, I don't understand. When I fell, when I, when, when I was lost into sin and darkness, it was just what? Part of the script. Because you know, you know it was not God that did it, but it's part of the script. Because everything was to be that way. For what? So good. To them that love it. I'm living out a carefully scripted life. Carefully scripted, carefully written, carefully. Every day of my life was recorded in a book. <laughs> like you see, they wrote it and they knew. It doesn't be recording. They are telling me we read these quotes today. I'm telling you the truth. This particular quote. You think I'm lying? Let me show you. You think I'm not here. You see, the Bible says in Psalm 33, 27, 37, 23. Give me again one or two. 33 37 that uh, the Lord that is the step of the right of the godly. <laughs> what is 33 27 or 37 23? Those two used to confuse me. I met it when I was in university. The Lord just spoke to me from that scripture to align my life again with my academics. I was getting them serious. 37 23, right? Psalm 37 23. In NLT. The Lord directs the steps. Of the godly. Are you ready now? What did I say? You read, read, read it yourself. What did I say? Yeah. It reminds you what? Yeah. Every detail of their life. It reminds you every detail of their life. What is it of every detail? Tell me now, what is it of every detail now? Don't you know? Oh, very good. What is it of every detail? Every single thing. That's what you think is about when you play. It's only about your quiet time. It's only about what you eat. Are you eating LD? It's concerned about what you wear. Don't go there. You know, I said, don't go there about what you drink, what you wear, what you eat. He said, God knows that you need all these things. <laughs> you see, all the gushy you wear, all the clothes you wear, they've written it. But they covered it. You see, and the, the right you start wearing, the way you, you will start with very you that gushy, they wrote it too. <laughs> Hey, you telling me? Now then, that's the way to wear. You know those shoes are stupid for hundred. They are not those shoes. How much? How much? So much. I can't even believe it. I was I've got those shoes like before, but now I don't. I can't brush me it again. It has passed. 
I don't want to the old that I will wear. But when I wear, I cannot enter that living room. They have passed there. You see, but that bus stop, that bus stop eh, was part of what they recorded that I will pass. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bus stop. You see, I'm on a journey, you're on a journey. I don't know. So think of the life as a journey because it's really a journey. So there are different bus stops you pass before your destination. I don't understand it. So one of the bus stops I passed eh, was then down select. <coughs> what do you call it? Tell me, don't, don't, don't act like a plan there. Okrika oh, sounds fine. <laughs> I can't tell you that. Okrika. So have you made grade A? <laughs> you know how to do you, you know you're trying to get there. You will get me as early as five. So that you will pick the best. Don't be, don't be advice you. <laughs> ah, you see, so that's how we have the air. He's in quality as all those bushes. He's not the same. He's not the same. He's not the same. He's not the same. He said, if you want to buy and wash and put in boutique and clinic, you lie to yourself. He said, don't check your bank 50k. I will enter the other way at the local and go to 115. You see? It can be the same design. It can be the same design. It's not the same shirt. It's not the same shirt. That shirt you bought in this case can wear for 20 years. What will happen to it? It's not the same shirt. It's not even one five there. Eh? After three months, you find out that the name of the shirt has changed. <laughs> the name, you see, if, if you bought it as Fila, or F will remove it, it's not the Ila. <laughs> then later, I will remove <laughs> Wow, this is what I'm doing. Because it's not actually filler. Are you understanding me? It is finished, it's not filler. I'm using the code that is not Balenciaga. But it's not Balenciaga. Hey, you know it's not Balenciaga. Who is Balenciaga? It's not Balenciaga at all. And I'm saying that now, you see, I can get a man in Jersey for you, I can get it for, for two fights. If I go to a jewelry, two pounds in Jersey, two fines. You see, after you have it, if they wrote, if they wrote, who, 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 who is the player that has sense in my life? Fernandez. If they wrote Fernandez, number eight on it, you see, the eight will start cracking. It will start, it, 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 it will fall down to number six. I'm telling you the truth. It's not the same. No one says, are you going to do your law? Are you going to, it's sweet to enjoy life. Are you understanding me? Yes. Environment is better than suffering. It's easier and better than suffering. <laughs> Are you and your sisters? Yes, sir. Are you and your sisters? Yes. Are we still together? Yes, sir. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. It lies in every detail of your life. Eh? Every detail is, is concerned. Every detail. What you eat, the kind of shoes you wear, the clothes. Are you understanding me? Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Everything is recorded. You know that when you get a point in your life, you start eating like a king. Oh, you people, what did you cook? Hey, we cook rice and catfish, pepper soup, and with some chicken. Oh, I don't want that. Can I just have plantain and chips, like chicken and chips, and put some snow? You know the point is going to come in your life. And you give me some yogurt. Will you not say to me that I wish you got to this way is like? Real one. Are you understanding? And give me fresh juice. The real one that they make with fruits. You know the way it's going to go on the like, you see? But one that there will be a part of the recording. <laughs> you know you're on the bus. You know you're on the journey, you know you're on the journey, you know you're on the journey, you You see, don't come down at any bus up until you reach your destination. Though. Some of you settle for the new life before God promotes you. You settle for less. Don't come down at any bus, you must get to where you are going. If you go nobody here, nobody here is going to where you are going. Nobody here. I'm not going to where you are going. If you say you're going to out of this church. But the, the, my members are not going to go there again. Ah, uh, yeah, you got, you got in there. If I tell you to bring 50 million and I tell you to buy property, can you bring it? You now depend that you're going to go there again. That's how you go to go there again. Then they will give you a 30 million next week. She can't, she has not going to go there again. I don't know what I mean. 
Then we get away again. What do people say? One billion. We don't need contribution. What person will say, Pastor, let me pay for it. Tell me the truth. You know what? Where have you gone into? You see? Are you ready now? But God knows that part of. So I'm telling you, you are in a journey, you are in a bus. Naturally, you say, you enter bus from Yanokaja. You are going to Yanaba. They say, Lare, Lare. Do you talk about Lare? Do you talk about Apolabi? Do you talk about Abade? Where do you stop? Yanaba. So why in life do you want to stop at where it's just a bus stop? You see, God knows that you're going to concerning your food. He knows that you will take a king eventually. Are you hearing me now? Brother says, are you hearing me? You see, but on that part of the bus of your past is that, is that a shah? Do you know a shah pepper? Tomato? He said, those, oh, you can put it, what's the name of a shah? Give me the English name of a shah. Those people that are not really hard. You don't need to select those pepper. You have selected this one. Are you in the radio of the world? I do have a radio of the world. Give me money, the radio of the world. Give me 10 million, Anna. You don't need to go to the market. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> you know that broken one? What is that broken? Do you know it? Don't feel like I'm like, not. Say, do you know it? Have you bought it before? No. You have to say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've bought it before. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Don't know that there will be a time. Part of your bus stop. That that is part of your bus stop. It's Asia, you die. Broken ones. It's they are the best. So yeah, they, are not, they are not the best. They are not the best. No, stop lying to me now. How can they be the best? You see how this meat said they used to cause cancer. You see meat cause cancer. You eat for more, for more, for more is the best. For more is not affect your health. It's a lie. For more is not the best. For more is not the best. Of all this, everything is good. For more is the best. Broken <laughs> pepper is the best, you are a liar. It's not the best. You see, but if you take it, if you, because you are passing through that bus stop, if you come down there, if you take it as the best, as God's of your life, that's where you stay in your life. You must go to the bus stop. If you bus stop, you know, they're going to pass through. Oh, before you go to, oh my God. Before you go to your destination, you pass through many bus stops now. You pass through many bus stops now. You pass through bus stops. Are you understanding me? Yes, you will stop, you will pass through many bus stops. You will pass through many bus stops. But your bus stop is not, is not your destination. Can I talk to you? Who are you? When you are eating for me, who are you? When you are eating food without anything, who are you? When you are eating a pepper, a shell, who are you? Or you think you are lesser? When you are eating the real one, who are you? When you are drinking the who are you? When you are eating the sugar, who are you? When you start eating the good food, who are you? Your identity must not change regardless of what you are going through. Must not change. Your identity must not change. Whatever birth of your passage, you must pass with as a king. You must pass with the meaning to say, Oh, let me talk to you naturally now. <laughs> You enter money from your father, you are going to another. When you go from your father, you go to a better bus stop. Eh? This is the way you entered. When you go to a better, the truth were in the room. Did your face change? But then you go to Larry, you have turned to another person. But then you go to Oleg, you go back, you have turned to another person. Are you already changing, changing, changing? But then you now go to your bus stop. You have changed them, you are complete, you are not the same. You can't remember whether this is Empress or you know. Is that how it happens? So when you enter over your bus, you are going to Yanoba. When you enter there as Empress, how do you get to how do you get to Yanoba? As that Empress. Does your boss of change you? Does your boss of change who you are? So why do you think less of yourself because you are still going through some stuff? Why? Why do you think less of yourself? Are you understanding me? Yes, sir. There might not be money here, but you're not a poor man. Yes. You're not a pauper. Yes, I say you're not a pauper. Yes, I say you're not a pauper. Yes, you're not a pauper. Yes, you're not a pauper. Yes, I'm a wealthy man, man. Yes, child of God. I'm a child of God. My father is so wealthy. Yes, I'm not at the mercy of any man. No. Man can go to hell. Yes. I'm a child of God. No man, no man is going to make me compromise that faith. Yes, you are going to make me compromise in the will of God. I'm a child of God. 
So you have to go through your bus stop with joy. Eh? You see, let me explain to you. You see, if you don't drink Gary as a king, as a child of God, you are drinking as a king, you have no right to eat buffet. Yes. You have no right. Because buffet is for kings. Yeah. Are you understanding me? So you, in the days of Gary, you must be a king. You must do what? You must drink the Gary as a king. If you don't let the God food, go to the end as what? As a king. He's a king that is hungry. Let me come and be hungry. No food in the house, boy, yes, is a king that, that is hungry. Now, King be hungry presently. He's not a poor man. Go through your seasons as a child of God. I wish I could scream into your spirit. Go through your seasons as a child of God. The days of lack, the days of poverty, the days when there's nothing, the days where the way is like you have been limited. Go through it as a child of God. Because that is who you are. That is who you are! You are a child of God! You are a child of the King! Every resources are at your disposal! And as you need them, they are going to release them to you! Oh my God! I told you I can't give my children to people because it's not their own yet! I don't understand the vision, I give their own! But I give them to you, I give it to them as they can handle it! Are you hearing me now? You are born into a rich house. You are born into a wealthy house. I said you are born into a wealthy house. Can you are born into a wealthy house? Then I be luck now. But that is not you. I said that is not you. I said that is not you. You won't pay a lot, right? But that is not you. It's part of the bus stop. It's part of the bus stop. Are you understanding me? Give me back sounds. Then begin to round up. Oh, glory to Jesus. Yeah. Very today. When I'm done, please don't, don't, don't clap. Just pray. I'm going to pray. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every day is written in your book. Every day is written, was written in your book. Every day was written. <coughs> Are you understanding me? Yeah. That day that before you met him, that day you failed. They recorded it. That day you messed up. It was recorded. It's part of the journey. I said it was. It's part of the journey. Your failures, your lacks, your limitations, part of the journey. But you don't know what is going to end glorious. I don't know what is going to end glorious. It's going to end glorious. Every woman was laid out before a single day had passed. Before the day even started, we have laid out everything. Oh my God! In the next past few days, God has been speaking to me to encourage my heart. He says, I know, I know, I know that your days are written. They are carefully planned out. Everything was laid out before a single day had passed. Satan has nothing on me. I said, Satan has nothing on me. Satan has nothing on me. Satan has nothing on me. I'm a child of God. My life is well planned out. Oh, man has nothing on me. Man can't threaten me. Man can't treat me. Are you understanding me now? You see, when it looks like man is working against me, are you understanding me? Every day of my life was what was laid out. It's only acting as me. You see, those that are against you, eh, your enemies, those working against you, those that are trying to bring you down, those talking against you, those that are speaking the way of you, it's part of what? Now was recorded. They are actors in the movie. They don't have to, they, they, they don't know they are actors. They don't know they are actors to make the movie interesting. They don't know they are actors to make the movie interesting. To make it interesting. Are you understanding me now? Yes, sir. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. But brother, are you saying this thing? Every day of my life was created in your book. Like every day. So the day when I did know it, they wrote it, they knew that I will know it that day. <laughs> no, they wrote it, they know in the year 2023, they still have God to give it to me. The year 2023, January 1, 2023, by 6 p.m., that is something we have known it, there will be nothing in their house to eat. And they wrote it down. The reason that's what they wanted to do, they wrote it that they wrote it, that that's it will happen. Are you understanding me? So every day is carefully written. Every day is carefully written. 
Every day was carefully written. And then I said, you know, the gates, the year that by this time, so good time, Lord and family will have entered tremendous wealth that there will be no lack in their life anymore. You see? That's the second time I was going to get to. And you know me? Second of all, wants to get to the destination. And how does he do it? By making you lose sight of your identity. <laughs> Are you understanding me? Yes, sir. By making you lose sight of what? He wants to, he wants to, to, he doesn't want to know that you are a child of God. He, not know what that is. He doesn't want to be rude to you that you are a child of God. Because you are a child of God knows that God is your father and that, that God has plans for you. Let me close. Oh my God. This is why I said, this is, I'm, I'm not going to teach my two like this. I just forgot to talk to you like this this morning. So you just receive it into your spirit. Let me close. You see, this is a good way about the world. That visitor is so much against that knowledge. They don't want you to have that knowledge. You don't have that knowledge. Not have that knowledge like a very but no, 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 no. But it's being real to you. It's not even wanting to be real to you. Four years after five. Four years after five. Four years after five. That's what. For whatsoever is going to go, five is four. Usha. They're not praying that your your identity and your church is done upon your spirit. That your spirit should see your eyes begin to open to see them as the father. Oh my God! No, no, no. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh, you are kissing by a dinner cabaya. For whatsoever is born of God overcoming the world. <laughs> and when we read that we're going to only want to say it. For what I can't hear you. For whatsoever is born of God overcoming the world. And the Bible says that you are what? You are born of God. For whatsoever is born of God overcoming the world. The child of God has victory over the world. Therefore, when you lose sight of the identity of God, child, you cannot have victory over the world. So, Satan wants to keep you in bondage by blinding you to the fact that you are God's child. He doesn't want you to see that truth. He doesn't want you to live in that identity. Satan wants to hide your identity from you. He wants to veil your identity so that he can keep your life in bondage. Because you are so ever born of God, shaking in the paradise, overcoming the world. We become by your identity. We become because you are a child of God. We become because God is your father. We become because Abba is Pate. We become because you have received the spirit of adoption. And you can cry, Abba Father. You can cry. There's a cry of victory in your spirit. There's a cry of victory in your spirit. Can you believe that cry? Victory over the world. Victory over guilt and shame. Victory over limitation. Victory over sickness and diseases. Victory over satanic oppression. Victory over lack. Victory over poverty. Victory. There's a cry in your spirit. It is a cry of victory. Oh, you can lay on your gun. You can lay on your gun. You can lay on your victory. Kalimu kosa biataba. Shande kamana. Ole go 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 Shande keme nantes. Shande keme makabaya. Golie kefi. Koto koto pe. Ashina kabaya. Shande ke. I am a child of God. Very bold, I am born of God. I overcome the world. I am born of God. I overcome the world. I have this over my past. I have this over my fears. I have this over my pains. I have this over poverty. I have this over lack. I have this over limitation. I have this over sicknesses. I have this over disease. I have victory over the world. I have victory over sin. I have victory over weaknesses. I have victory. I'm a child of God. Oh, let me at you do. Ja, 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 go, 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 go. Sha, na, 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 Until this is breaking to your spirit, 
You are a child of a king who set us new battle. He's battling with your identity. He's trying to, he's trying to, he's trying to call you with your identity. He doesn't want you to know to live in this truth that God, that God is your father. Because this is what becomes between life. This is how you win. When you know that God is your father. When you know that you are a child. I am a child of God. I am a child of God.